All right, so DM Insomnia here doing uh, something a little different. So I've always been one to support the smaller businesses, uh, family ran, uh, you know, just people trying to make it by building and creating and distributing stuff for us, the, the crafters, the gamers, the people that just want to have some fun doing cool stuff and uh, these are the guys who make it and distribute it and whatnot um, so company you guys may not be overly familiar with hopefully you are uh, run by my buddy Travis um, is Chimera Productions licensed uh, printer for these Dungeon sticks. It sounds simple, and they are. And this is the coolest part about it, is how simple they are. You buy it, they this basic set here. You know, ten walls, couplers, couple of entrances, couple of end pieces. Three d printed nice. Nice gray already, so you don't have to worry about that. Nice and solid. I mean, if you've ever played with Legos as a kid, Kinects, Lincoln Logs, anything like that, then these are definitely going to appeal to you. Not to mention, if you just want a way to set something up really quick, um, then, then this is going to be the route. So... What I'll be showing you is, is painting them up and uh, how easy they are to set up a very basic little room. And uh, yeah, then on the video description, uh, I'll have the link to his site. Uh, he also is on Facebook a lot. Uh, just find Chimerian Productions and, and you can get them there. Um, and I'll go into a little more depth about uh, why I support him as much as I do. So uh, let me get set up real quick and uh, be right back. All right, so going through my paints, trying to figure out what I was going to use to show this off. Realized that I had a really cool stone set of paints from uh, Stefan Picorni. Uh, if you don't know the name, uh, I'm sorry, no, it's Dwarven for you. So he sent me these a while back um, to tr check out, and uh, they're amazing for what they are. I mean, you get your base, your earth cut tone, a dry brush, and an edging dry brush. So. Um, these have some really good detail built into the printing. Um, and even though he got these off really quick and didn't do any cleanup on them, there's not really much that even needs to be done. Um, you know, maybe a little few wisps on the, on the ends of these bits here. Um, uh, but before paint, so just to show you how they work, um, they literally just slide in together and then you can sit here and figure out what you want and then they've got these couplers so you can put that there I mean that's like a an external little cave there but then you can have this room go out this way You want to connect that you use one of these couplers for here and then throw another one on this side to finish just this little small room off and so you've got you know a little bit to play with and this is there's a lot of ways you got two different entrances it's amazing so bring that to the side 
Now I have not primed any of this. I am simply going to uh, give it a shot and see what happens. So get some of the, the base gray going and it's taking the paint really well. Uh, normally I would do all my basing with my airbrush but my compressor blew out on me so until I can afford to replace it it's all by hand now which sucks so if any of you have an extra compressor out there you want to get rid of I will give it a good home but yeah this is straight out of the packaging um, it takes the paint really well and this is one thing I, want, I did want to point out as soon as I get this paint on here um, is he's not out you know to make a million dollars off of this at least not right away um, but you know he's doing this for his family um, long story short his son got an award for doing the right thing for being a hero protecting his brothers against some bullies normally I would want the story to end there but it doesn't the bullies took it upon themselves to assault him so viciously that it made all the local news channels went all over the internet but it stopped there Cops didn't do anything, school didn't do anything, and, you know, nobody really did anything to about it. So, that's why I'm supporting him now. Because I know that the money from this goes to support his family while they try to help his son heal. And... That is the ultimate thing any dad can do, um, is whatever it takes for your family to heal and move forward. So that's why I, I'm going to blast this out there. I mean, look at this. This is what he passes so much savings on to you. He prints these himself, shows us all his information. Right there, who he is, the price, pictures, and he uses these. Very cheap, non-name brand packaging, so he doesn't have to kill people on the cost of packaging. Passing all these savings on to you, just because he wants to get it out there. So... That's another reason I'm supporting him as much as I do. He makes this stuff really nice, very affordable. I'm going to let this piece dry here. Uh, while I base up, I'll go ahead and base coat the rest of them. Come back and do the next step. All right, so now these are all base coated uh, in just the uh, base gray. And of course, the lighting's not going to cooperate. But yeah, base gray. Next is the earthstone color. So this is a, a fairly deep, almost like a, a brownish color. Um, and for this one, you know, I usually I'll shoot for I don't know, like ninety percent coverage, probably not super heavy coats. Um, just because I do want some of the gray to show up. And there's a grain to 3D printing, um, depending on your layer height. And it actually works really well for these type of walls. So I'll paint them this way um, to get it in there. And it leaves some gaps. And what's cool is 
you can't really see it on the camera, but on the top, there it. Uh, I mean, they look like natural caverns if you've ever been been caving. Um, it's like they're piled on top of each other, so it works out really, really well for this. Um, and he does have a lot of other things. Um, these are the dungeon sticks or, or cavern sticks, or, or you know, there's a bunch of different. Um, types that you can get. Some that have fungus on them. There's some drow um, ones. There's some crystals that are really cool looking. Um, and then there's these things called uh, the true tiles, I believe. I'll actually pull them up and look here real fast. So dungeon sticks. Um, he's got this other thing. It's like a, a holder for your minis. Um, it's all interchangeable and, and you can decide you know how big you want it how many things you want and then hang it up on the wall to just so this whole display thing which is pretty cool and then um, true tiles uh, for the dungeon tile system uh, he's licensed to do that as well um, which is pretty cool so heroes Horde, uh, you know EC 3D design. I mean, he's got a lot of people he's working with to get their stuff out there and to be able to produce this stuff for you on his machines. So that is kind of the color. It's kind of a ruddy brown um, with a little bit of the gray underlay on it. And so I'm going to let that one dry and then we'll come back in and I'll start doing the dry brushing. And then we'll see how this thing takes to a wash for the final effect on it. Um, yeah, be right back. All right, so I have got these done with the Earthstone. Next is kind of a uh, an olive dry brush. So throw that on. Uh, this one seems a little thicker than the others. Um, the other paints. So, grab my dry brush. Brush. And hopefully, well, y'all know how to, you know, dry brush. So. It's super subtle. I mean, not a lot of difference to it. Super, super so. Almost to the point where you can't even tell. But yeah, it's like literally shades lighter. That's it. Just a couple of shades. So. I don't even think you'll be able to tell. Let's try it before. It's super, super subtle, which is good. I mean, you don't want your dry brushing to be extreme. So um, I'll do that, and then we'll come back in, and we'll start doing the uh, the really light. It's called Stone Edge Dry Brush. Once we get that done, we'll, uh, we'll do the door, and then uh, we'll do a wash on everything. And uh, then I'll tell you what the next step for this stuff is. All right, so got all these hit with the, uh, the olive dry brush. And now what we'll do next is this is one I've had issues with doing before, um, mostly because it's very easy to mess up. Um, it's when you're doing a super, super light dry brushing. Um, very, you know, you really want to get the vast majority of the paint back off your brush because um, this is just literally to highlight the smallest detail so get that is dry uh, more. Yeah. all right so we use this as an example piece here so 
just super light. Yeah, it's just catching just you know all the edges that are on here, all those little details, and making them pop out. And there's a lot of detail on these. So you can kind of see how it changed. And what's cool is it's not, you know, most people, a lot of their, their stonework is very gray. This, this has, with it being these uh, olive tones, almost, it, it looks kind of neat. It's different. Um, but Can you see some of the detail popping out? So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these real careful, and then uh, we'll start applying the wash. So I'll be right back. All right, so the white, so you can see in some of these I did a little, uh, a little heavy. And that's all right. You know, variety is good. So this one, I painted the door a brown, a darker brown, I'm letting that dry. But I want to try. I got these uh, Army Painter Quick Shades, so we'll try it out. Let's see how it works on this. This is their dark tone. We've got a bunch of others that I've got. So we'll try a darker tone, a lighter tone, and just see which one uh, I like. So let's actually do it on these. So on. We'll let that settle there. Then grab one of the lighter tones. What's nice is I think some of them actually look better. A soft tone here. A little bit in here. It's more of like an obvious brown tone, whereas the other one is definitely more of like a black wash. So, all right, I'm gonna let those dry, um, and then we'll, you know, I'll decide which one to go with, and then I'll do them all, and then I'll come back and, and show you guys. So, stay tuned. All right, so I chose the really dark wash, and I like it. Uh, for the campaigns I would be running, this is perfect. It's fairly muted, uh, still a lot of detail. And the cool thing about this is just the overall playability. It's very simple. Uh, the details are really good. And there is a lot of various options when you uh, when you go. You can use you know mix and match pieces to have different things put in. Um, like I said, I'll link everything down below. So uh, yeah, I mean, in all, just to get these to this point, if you don't include the drying time, I spent maybe 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes total uh, getting these painted up. So it's that simple, you know, and then you just, you know, even as they're exploring, you can just pile pieces on and, and move them around and, and they're extremely durable. I mean, they're 3D printed, good quality stuff. They look good. They paint simple. You know, you don't have to do any scrubbing or anything like you do with some miniatures. Um, ready to paint straight out of the package, great price, great guy. So, yeah, 
that's all I've got on these. These are, as I said, Dungeon Sticks, Tabletop Terrain. Right there. Boom. You can even see his information there, and I will copy it in the description below. He's got a lot of stuff he does. He's got some stuff he's working on. And like I said, just get reach out and touch, reach, touch base. He's a great guy. Um, easy to talk to and uh, a good friend. So... Yeah, reach out and enjoy.